Hi, my name is Florence Tang, and today I'm going to show you how to export references from an EBSCOhost database into your EndNote web account. So first we're going to go to the Mercer University Libraries homepage at libraries.mercer.edu. Next, we're going to go to EndNote Web. You would go to Databases, click on E for EndNote Web, and scroll down until you see EndNote Web. It will ask you to log in with your Mercer ID number and password for staff. It is the last name underscore first initial middle initial. And then if you don't have an account, click on register. It'll ask for your email address. In this case, I would not use your Mercer email address, but rather use an email address that you will continue to check after you graduate from Mercer. If you already have an EndNote web account, you can go to www.myendnoteweb.com. While you have EndNote web open on another tab, you can go into the EBSCOhost database. I'm going to search PsycInfo. Okay, my topic is COVID-19. And I'm only looking for peer-reviewed scholarly publications published between 2019 to the present in English. Say I'm looking through my result list and thinking that I like this article, I'll add this to my list. Oh, I got these other articles added in my list. Okay, I've marked some of these articles that are in my folder, so I'm going to go to my folder. I have four articles. Selected. And I want to export them. And I'm going to directly export them to EndNote Web. And then I'll click on Save. And EndNote Web detected that you just imported four references. But the default place where it imports references is into your unfiled folder. And here are the four. I call them groups actually instead of folders, but they're they're basically folders. So if I'm ready to create a bibliography, I'll mouse over format and choose bibliography. Then I'll choose which group contains my references. I have a ton of groups. I had hundreds of references since I've had my account for so long. I chose the unfiled group, but the bibliographic style I want is APA 7th edition. These I've already added because I've used EndNote Web so many times, but if you're using this for the first time, you'll need to go to select favorites find APA 7th on the list on the left.
and click on copy favorites to copy APA 7th to your favorites list on the right. And that way it'll show up on your short list here. And then the file format that is most compatible with Microsoft Word is RTF, rich text file. So click on save. And it just downloaded this file. Now when I open it, you can see the file looks like this. It is not perfect APA 7th edition style. You still have to know the rules of APA 7th edition so that you can correct any mistakes. For example, one thing I notice is that the spacing is single spaced instead of double spaced. So I could select all and then under paragraph choose 2.0 for double spacing. If you have any questions, please go to libraries.mercer.edu and click on Ask a Librarian in the upper right hand corner. Here you can find a link to chat with the librarian synchronously online. Go to our Frequently Asked Questions webpage, or you can call us at the Swilly Library, the Tarver Library, the Douglas County or Henry County Libraries.